Oh, baby. Anytime there's some backlash on a good old Twitch, you already know I gotta be there, bro. Listen, these streaming platforms, what's going on with them lately? Tech is having these issues with the, the, what is it? The doxing, the swatting, and everything going on. Twitch, bro, it's insane. I don't really know how you even put guidelines in to stop that from happening. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with Twitch, although it's kind of a little bit more lax. Now, I don't really like Twitch. I don't really like Twitch at all, even though, funny enough, I stream on there every now and then when I decide I want to, to one person. But, um, Mitch Jones, Twitch streamer was 15k subs, was denied partnership number 35 on the ladder he got denied partnership what does that say what does that even say for the rest of us if you yourself want to become a partner on twitch it ain't happening buddy it's not happening you're more likely to hit the lottery than to get partnered on twitch because this guy he's got 15k subs he's not getting on. they basically said we have a ton of other creators da -da -da on the platform oh guys so much room for so many people and this guy mitch jones like streams every single day he's a world of warcraft player he's got 15,000 subs he's number 35 on the thing how many there's 34 people in front of him how many other part why are the other partners behind him getting it before he does you know what i'm saying it's a little fucking weird a little fucking weird i'm not gonna cap it's very weird very weird twitch open this up fix that shit bro let the homeboy in all these creators are either dunking on mitch jones or basically saying this ain't right dude's hard working i mean I, the dude streams like every single day twitch how does that how does that not come into play whatever Miss Jones was an early adopter of Twitch, growing a loyal fan base of World of Warcraft followers who were initially drawn to the streamer for his PvP. Sorry, World of Warcraft just bores me, bro. I can't do it. Starting streaming in 2011, though, like one of the first OGs on the platform. He's still not partnered. Isn't that insane? He's not part. 2011. It. it he lost his. Okay, so he was partnered. He lost it in 2019 over the whole Ms. Kiff thing or whatever that whole i don't remember that whole scenario i wasn't really into drama then kind of not really into it now but i really do like covering it. i find all this interesting now but he lost it and now he's number 35 on the platform and he can't get it back why i mean if he can't get it back at ever just ban him just ban him that's not worth it ban him if he's not gonna be a partner just ban him if you don't want to make a partner ban him there's no point and being that having that many people following you i would jump ship i would go to a competitor right away i should do that there's nothing here on twitch for me for me that is for other people it's a ton of people huge audience not for me but uh that's why we're over here on youtube i get to make any kind of video i want and just talk to the people when they show up <laughs> whoever's watching this shout out to you i love you but uh mitch jones yeah He's going to prove himself after the Twitch now. It's going to be funny to see what he does. Hopefully, he does like IRL content now. He becomes like the next Aiden Ross or something. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. See you on the next one. Subscribe if you're new. I'm out of here.